going on YouTube? So <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick VR. I don't do a lot of VRs, but uh, every once in a while, someone's doing a contest and uh, that seems interesting to me, or at least find their videos interesting, interesting enough to where it motivates me to do a VR. And I've been meaning to do a VR uh, for this one for a while, I just keep forgetting and whatnot, but uh, Um, before I get into that, uh, I'm smoking my Jake Hackert. This is my number two Hackert, um, but uh, this is the first Briar one I got from him. Um, it's very simple. Um, like my other Hackert, there's no rings on it. It's just the uh, two-tone, the smooth ring there. Typical rustication. Um, and I'm smoking some Strauss Sleepy Hollow. So I'm under my uh, covered patio right now. Um, it's not raining or anything, but uh, I am sheltered from the wind, so it's not as pretty of a view as my other one, as my other view out there. But what, bud? Yeah, come here, Matthew. I'm making a video. Let's say hi to YouTube's again. Hi. This is my six-year-old. He's supposed to be in bed right now. What's up? Awesome. Very cool, bud. All right, go get in bed. Love you. Good night. I knew you'd go to bed six. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Typically, I'm outside, but it's a little windy tonight, kind of chilly, so I'm just hanging out under here. Um, so anyways, the VR. Make this quick. Uh, VR2 Suburban Pipe Smoker. Um, I was watching some videos tonight, and Jeremy, I'm blanking his last name now, um, Anyways, channel uh, with a guy named Jeremy. Uh, smokes a lot of cobs. I'll put his info in the bucket. Um, anyways, uh, scrolling through my feed, and saw he had a video on there, and he was doing a VR. I'm like, oh crap! That reminds me, I need to do this for Suburban Pipe Smoker for his contest. Seems how I believe the deadline is like 48 hours away. So, anyways, Suburban Pipe Smoker. Congratulations on your subs, and thanks for doing the contest. Uh, he wanted to know who uh, motivated us to start a YouTube channel. Um, and uh, even though uh, a lot of people might say this, um, but I believe that's it's a credit to the individuals. Um, that would be the Dagners. Um, I've been stalking YouTube pipe presenters for probably about six months or so. Um, and obviously following the Dagners on Instagram and Dagner Pipes came out. And Anyways, they had uh, their... YouTube IG contest um, was the motivator for me and to get on here. Um, I'd always I'd want I'd li I liked the uh, YouTube pipe community. I thought it was cool. Uh, the people on here are awesome, super friendly, super nice. Um, I find most of them pretty interesting. Uh, But I never felt I had a reason to start a channel. Um, but the more I watched, and then I was thinking about it when the Dagners did their contest, um, that, you know, a lot of times it's just 
it's not like you have to have something to say. There's a lot of people that have a lot of good information, um, like uh, Cutlery Lover. Um, who are some of the other ones? There's several that are very informative in their uh, channels. But a lot of guys, like the Dagners, for example, when uh, Jason started his uh, Dagner performance, it was just, from what I understood, just he saw some YouTube pipe presenters and saw that there was a community out there. He smoked a pipe, so he just got on there and... Just talk about life, what's going on in his life, and it's you make you make friendships with these people on here, and it just like smoking Grandpa Bones. Um, his videos aren't themed. He's just talking about what's going on in his life, and it's interesting, and people care about it because we you get to care about these people and what's going on in their lives, and we share the the bond of uh, the pipe smoking hobby and. So, all that to say, I saw that, you know, I don't have to have a certain expertise or a lot of, I guess, useful information to share. I'm just sharing what's going on in my life, who I am, and smoking a pipe. We can't always uh, smoke a pipe with someone else. So, doing this and posting the videos on YouTube and watching the videos while we're smoking pipes, it's like, it's like we're hanging out together. Um, but uh, yeah so Dagners um, Jason and Jay and Elaine they were the ones that I guess I wouldn't say motivated me but definitely gave me the push to uh, to actually make that first video so thanks to you guys um Thanks to Suburban Pipe Smoker. Awesome channel. Great stuff. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to do an update to my pipe collection. And I definitely will. Um, soon, hopefully this weekend. I don't know, it's Mother's Day weekend, so we'll see if I have the time. But... Uh, I'd like to make another video. I need to make a pipe rack because I got pipes just kind of laying in piles on the shelf in my cellar. So definitely need to do something about that, get them organized. And uh, yeah, but um, I'm really curious. Even even if I don't win the winnings, excuse me for this contest one of the things he's given away like tobacco and some other cool stuff uh, but the thing honestly that interests me the most is pipe cleaners he's gonna give away some pipe cleaners he uh, claims that he's found a pipe cleaner that does a good job and doesn't leave the fuzz in uh, the stem and I don't know about you guys I usually try to blow it out pretty clean but you can't always get it all necessarily and I can't stand lighting up a pipe and sucking in not only a little bit of tobacco but like the fuzz from the pipe cleaners uh, it's really annoying so if he's got some got the line on some pipe cleaners that he uses that don't do that awesome looking forward to at least seeing what those are so uh, maybe I can track some down, but uh, oh, also before I go, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, tobacco pipes and stuff, I uh, posted that I scored some Germain's special Latakia flake uh, from a local B and M in Portland. 82nd Avenue Pipe and Tobacco. Uh, it took a while to get it in, um, but he did get some in for me, and he's got a couple more tins 
for me. Some people canceled their order, um, so I'm going to pick those up as well. But if you are dying to try it and want to get or want to get your hands on a tin or something, I can't obviously order like a crap ton. But if you are completely out and uh, or you just really want to try it, you haven't been able to find it anywhere, let me know. Drop me a line and uh, I'll see what I can do to uh, scrounge up some more tins and send it out to you. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Over 10 minutes already. Sorry, I didn't mean to go so long, but that's kind of how I do, I guess, so, oh, and hope you guys uh, like the, uh, the intro and the outro that I, that I added to it, try to make it look a little bit more profession, professional, um, so, anyways, take care, everybody, and I will talk to you later. Uh -huh.